Hello, today I am going to read you The Dragon of Allerton Oak, written by Jude Lennon and illustrated by Chris Roddenhurst. Shall we begin? This is a special book because it's signed by the author, Jude Lennon, who happens to be my friend. Long ago, there was a mighty oak tree. It had stood for hundreds of years and was used as a meeting place by all the animals. Here, they would meet with the wisest creature who lived amongst them, Luna the owl. Luna lived in a tree near the ancient stones. The stones had been there even longer than the oak. Every week, she left her tree circled three times around the stones and then flew to the ancient oak to listen to the animals' questions and worries. One day, a terrifying roaring sound filled the sky above the tree. Looking up, rabbit, hedgehog and squirrel saw something that filled them with dread. A dragon! a huge, red, fire-breathing dragon heading straight for their oak tree. With a fearsome roar, the dragon flapped its huge wings and came to land with a thud next to the tree. This looks like the perfect place for my new lair, said the dragon, looking at the tree with satisfaction. The animals gasped in horror. The oak was for everyone to share. Squirrel looked at the scary dragon and gulped. Taking a deep breath, he stepped forward and cleared his throat. <coughs> uh, excuse me, Mr. Dragon. Welcome to our woods. Are you hoping to stay near here? We can show you some lovely places that would be perfect for your lair. I found the perfect place, said the dragon. I am going to make my lair right here in this mighty oak tree. The thing is, said Hedgehog timidly, this tree is used by everyone. But I'm sure we can help you to find that one that will be just as good. No, roared the dragon. My lair is going to be in this very tree. And with a gush of flames, the dragon flew up to the topmost branch and started to make a nest for himself. The animals scampered away as quickly as they could. They were worried and decided that the best thing they could do was to visit Luna to ask her advice. Making their way to the ancient stones, Squirrel ran up Luna's tree and knocked on her door. Please come quickly, he said. An enormous dragon is making his lair in the oak tree and he won't share it with anyone. We'll see about that, said Luna. Fluffing her feathers, she swooped down from her tree, glided around the stones three times and flew to the top of the oak to speak to the dragon. You are very welcome to share our oak tree, but you will need to find somewhere else to make your lair, Luna said firmly. I've already said I'll make my lair here. This oak is no longer for everyone to share. It belongs to me, snarled the stubborn dragon. Smoke started to pour from his nostrils. Impossible, said Luna. If you say sorry to the animals and leave the oak, you will be more than welcome to share the rest of the woods with us. Well, I won't be leaving. I like this tree and I'm staying. Take yourself off before I decide that roasted owl is on the menu for dinner. I will give you until tomorrow to change your mind, said Luna calmly. And with that, she took to the air once more and flew back to her tree. The next day arrived and the animals gathered around the bottom of the oak tree as Luna flew in to speak to the dragon. 
Have you changed your mind? She asked the dragon, flying to the uppermost branches. My mind is made up. I'm not going anywhere, roared the dragon. By now the smoke was pouring thickly from his nostrils and the animals could feel the heat rising. You've left me no choice, said Luna, and spreading her wings, she took to the skies above the tree. As the dragon took a deep breath, ready to attack Luna, something very odd happened. Luna flew around and around the top of the tree, and as she did, a cloud full of many colours gathered. When the cloud had covered the dragon and the top of the tree, Luna let out an almighty screech. With the screech came the loudest crash of thunder and the brightest flash of lightning the animals had ever seen. A terrible crackling noise filled the air. Almost at once, the thunder and lightning stopped. It's quite safe now, Luna assured the animals. And when the animals stepped forward, they saw the dragon was gone. And do you know, ever since that day, dragons have never returned to this place. But if you go to look at the Allerton Oak in Calderstones Park, you can see the damage the dragon caused before he was banished by Luna the Owl.